What we're going to do here is explore the use of different models of a heart communicator with a smart transmitter. In this case, the smart transmitter is a Rosemount Model 3051 differential pressure transmitter. We have it powered through a 24 volt power supply going through a Fluke Model 87-5 meter. We're currently measuring about 12 milliamps of current. That current goes through a 250 ohm resistor and we're providing pressure with this hand pump, this air pump. The current range of the transmitter is 0 to 1,000 inches of water column pressure. We are applying about 500 inches of water column, which is exactly halfway in its range. That's why we see 12 milliamps out of a 4 to 20 milliamp range. This is a smart transmitter, which means it understands the heart communication protocol, the little pulses of AC voltage that we superimpose on the same two wires with a DC signal. What I want to show you is what happens when you try to communicate with a heart communicator that does not have the necessary software upgrades. Right here we have a Rosemount Model 268 handheld smart communicator for the heart protocol. And uh, what we see here, we see a message. Notice, upgrade 268 software to access new transmitter functions. Smart communicators rely on uh, digital files called device description files, or DD files. The device description file can be thought of like a driver for your personal computer. Like when you install a scanner or a printer on your personal computer, you have to install some driver software to tell the computer how to communicate with that new peripheral device. Likewise here, these devices, these uh, smart uh, field instruments, are so varied with so many different uh, features <coughs> and functions that the de device description files, the driver files needed to talk to these will change over time. So for example, if I were to get a newer model of this transmitter, it would require a different DD file than this model right here. Well, that can be a problem for the heart communicator because if you don't upgrade this with the necessary DD files, it doesn't know how to talk to the newer transmitters. And here we have a case of this. This model 268, which is a rather dated communicator, it's rather old, simply does not have the necessary device description files to talk to this transmitter. And it tells us, upgrade 268 software to access new transmitter functions. And if I try proceeding, it does recognize what the transmitter is, However, I may not be able to access all the functions of that transmitter because I don't have the latest dis device dis description file. Now in some cases, if my DD file in here is so old, it won't even talk to the transmitter at all. It won't even be able to tell, for instance, it's a 3051C pressure transmitter. So that can happen as well. So what I want to show you here is the difference between this and a newer transmitter that does have the necessary DD file. Here we have a model 275, which is a later model communicator. I'm sorry, this is a communicator. I may have misspoken and said transmitter. This is a communicator. We'll wait for it to boot up and establish communications. And here it powers up with no problems whatsoever. It tells us the process variable being measured by the transmitter, the current output it thinks it's outputting, the range values, etc. In fact, this menu structure looks very similar to the one you see with a Model 375 hard communicator. This one's a newer communicator, and like I said, it has the appropriate DD files to be able to talk to the Model 3051 transmitter, <coughs> and so it did not give us an error message whatsoever. So if you find yourself in a situation where you have a complete working circuit, you definitely have established a proper current for the transmitter, you have your 250 ohm resistor attached, but you just can't get the communicator to successfully talk to the transmitter, it may be because there's a mismatch in the DD files. Think of it as a personal computer that doesn't have the right driver to talk to a printer or a scanner. All the hardware might be in place, but without that software key, it isn't going to work.